Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be providing an update on a really exciting biotech company by the name of Avalon Global Care. I initially covered this stock about a month ago on the channel. We've got a ton to go through in today's presentation, but before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've taken a look at Avalon, what you think about this company, and if you're currently holding shares. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on Avalon Global Care Corporation. Trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker symbol AVCO. Now this is a company we initially covered about a month ago on the channel, as I alluded to in the intro. And there was so much to unpack. I wanted to do a follow up because there really is a lot going on at this organization. And I think investors really are starting to take notice as you can see in the share price. So this is as of close on Friday, November 4th. You can see Avalon Global care was up five and a half percent on the day so a very strong session to close out just shy of 55 cents us and in my prior video avalon was trading closer to about the 46 to 47 cent range so if you had purchased at that point in time you're already up anywhere from about 10 to 15 percent and i really think this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the performance that we're about to see from this company and if we actually look at a one month chart, you can see they've been all over the place in the last 30 days, hitting a high of about 55 cents back on October 20th and actually bottoming out at 40 cents on November 2nd. And then it was really those first couple days of November where we saw that huge jump all the way from 40 cents all the way up to just shy of 60 cents. So just about a 50% return in three trading days. Now, despite that movement, we're still sitting at a market cap well below $100 billion, which is just a fraction of some of the big biotech players. And that's exactly why I think this is a great opportunity to get in at the ground level at a really exciting company with a huge portfolio of intellectual property. Now, if we jump over to the corporate website, I'll leave a link in the video description below if you want to come take a look for yourself. I wanted to do a quick refresher in terms of what Avalon Global Care is all about and then talk about a few points that we weren't able to cover in our initial video. So this is an image of their headquarters here. This is located in New Jersey. So this is really a hub for biotech activity. And if we continue to scroll down in the corporate overview, you can see Avalon Global Care Corp is a clinical stage leading cell tech bio developer dedicated to advancing and empowering innovative, transformative immune effector cell therapy and exosome technology. So it's a diversified portfolio with a variety of products to treat a variety of different conditions. Avalon also provides strategic advisory and outsourcing services to facilitate and enhance its clients growth development as well as competitiveness in the healthcare and cell tech industry markets avalon subsidiary and joint venture structure contribute to investor flexibility and r d focus enabling avalon to establish our leading role in the fields of immune effector therapy including car t and car nk which stands for chimeric antigen receptor t cells and in the case of car nk is chimeric antigen receptor natural killer cells along with exosome based regenerative therapeutics under their trademarked ActX platform as well as liquid biopsy diagnostics so again a diversified portfolio here we've talked a lot about car t technology on the channel this is really the next generation or next frontier in terms of treatment technology and avalon global care is on the cutting edge of that innovation now, if we jump into the investor presentation, you can see the mission behind Avalon is to become a clinical stage biotechnology company dedicated to developing and delivering innovative and transformative cell tech with multifunctional convergence in cellular technologies, therapeutics, precision diagnostics, and intellectual property, which I alluded to in the intro, in the field of immuno-oncology and cellular medicines. And we talked at length in our previous video about how this technology works within the body and how these cells react to this type of treatment so i would encourage you guys to go back and take a closer look if you want more details about the actual process or how these treatments work now their core technology platforms you can see are cellular immunotherapies including the car t 
and mRNA-based flash car, which I'll note is trademarked. Then they've got their Avalon clinical grade tissue specific exosomes, which is at ActX platform, and their Avatrap technology, which is focused on QTY code-derived decoy receptors, hemofiltration system, and the novel therapeutic targets. And then last but not least, their precision companion diagnostics. So really four core technology platforms that make up the Avalon Global Care portfolio. Now, if you've been watching my channel for some time, especially in recent months, you've noticed I've covered a lot of biotech companies. This is a really high risk, high reward field, and it's super exciting in terms of my research and following along with these companies. And in my opinion, Avalon really has three key differentiators over the competitors or over other companies in this space that we've talked about on the channel. Now, the first point of differentiation I wanted to bring up in today's video really focuses on their actual technology and the platform behind Behind these technologies. So Avalon Global Care is positioned as a future powerhouse in the cancer immunotherapy and cellular medicine fields and it really boils down to their portfolio of technology and intellectual property. So you can see they've got upstream innovation R&D and intellectual property, they've got midstream which is focused on process development, bioproduction along with quality control and quality assurance and then their downstream clinical programs which really center around their standout medical team their affiliate hospital network and their commercialization plan. So in terms of their upstream component, this is really where those technology platforms are researched and come to fruition. So you can see their QTY code engineered novel targets, their next generation multi-target RNA based flash car and their angiogenic exosomes or that ActX platform. Now midstream again is focused on the bioproduction and process development. So this really centers around their accredited state of the art facility. And on the downstream side, really their clinical programs here, they have over a hundred affiliated hospitals and they're working with the single largest BMT and CAR T treatment center in the world. And in addition to that, they've got a plan towards commercialization with business to business model for product development and global marketing through that ActX ecosystem. So not only do they have an extremely strong portfolio of products and platforms through their research and development, but they also have the ability to create and scale the production of these products and actually distribute them and get them to market. Now under their precision diagnostics banner, you can see they've got personalized cellular medicine, bioinformatic databases, prognostic monitoring, and the development and commercialization of companion diagnostic kits and systems. So again, a multifaceted approach and then finally, underpinning all of this is their IP or intellectual property, which consists of a broad and deep intellectual property portfolio and assets with patent coverage across a number of key enabling technologies in the CTX, which is cell tech and therapeutics, and the CDX or precision diagnostics. So that's really the first point in my mind that really differentiates Avalon Global Care from some of the other biotech players. Now the second point of differentiation is really some of these key academic and industry partnerships. So we talked about this again in the previous video. Two of the big ones here you guys are the MIT or Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is partnered up on that QTY protein design code to develop decoy cytokine and chemokine receptors to combat cytokine storm and cancer metastasis. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with cancer and cancer treatment, cancer metastasis is actually the process by which cancer cells spread to other parts of the body within the patient. Now the second partnership I wanted to flag here is with UPMC or the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And this one is really focused on the process development of their clinical grade AVA 011 or flash car technology and their ActX or exosome based technology platforms. And I should note they're also working on co-development of a point of care automated PD for cellular therapy. So the second point of differentiation here really has to focus on these key partnerships with iconic institutes around the world. Now the third point I wanted to talk about in terms of Avalon Global Care is really the management team behind this company. Now this is something we didn't spend a lot of time on in my previous video. So the CEO and president of the company, Dr. David Jin has an extremely extensive history in the industry. From 2019 to 2016, Dr. Jin served as the chief medical officer of Biotime, which is 
is a public company listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol BTX with a focus on clinical stage regenerative medicine and stem cell technology. Now, Dr. Jin also acts as a senior translational clinician scientist at Howard Hughes Medical Institute and the Ansari Stem Cell Center at Wheel Cornell Medical College of Cornell University. So again, an extremely well-recognized university in the field of medicine. Now, prior to these endeavors, Dr. Jin was the chief consultant advisor for various different biotech and pharmaceutical companies, and he's been the principal investigator in more than 15 preclinical and clinical trials, as well as the author or co-author of over 80 peer-reviewed scientific abstracts, articles, reviews, and book chapters. Now, in terms of his educational background, Dr. Jin studied medicine at the Sunny Downstate College of Medicine in Brooklyn, New York, and he received his clinical training and subsequent facility tenure at the New York Presbyterian Hospital in the areas of internal medicine, hematology, and clinical oncology. And to top it all off, he was honored as the top chief medical officer by exec rank in 2012, as well as recognized as the leading physicians of the world in 2015. So an absolutely glowing resume and track record here in terms of his educational and professional background, and someone you can feel extremely confident in as the head of this organization. And on top of that, David has really surrounded himself by an all-star cast here. So Meng Li, who's the chief operating officer and has over 15 years of executive experience in international marketing, branding, communication, and media investment consultancy. And then their CFO or chief financial officer, Louisa, who has 20 years experience in public company finance, compliance, and capital market oversight. So overall, an extremely experienced team with a ton of industry connections and extensive track records in their respective fields. And to take that a step further, if you jump into the investor presentation again, and you look at the board of directors, the senior management team, and the scientific and clinical advisory board, you can quickly see that this team is the real deal, and they've assembled some of the top experts around the world to come together and support this organization. Now, with that being said, I wanted to jump into this article from biotechstockmarketnews.com. Again, I'll leave a link in the video description below if you wanna go in and take a look for yourself because it lays out a very optimistic or bullish case for Avalon Global Care and the opportunity that's on the horizon for this company. So the title is Little Known Biotech Cracks the Code to Mitigate Cancer. What could FDA approval mean for this global developer of innovative cell-based technology and therapeutics? which of course is Avalon Global Care Corporation, ticker AVCO. Now we're gonna take a look at this breaking news which came out on October 19th, next up in the presentation. But before we get to that, I wanted to highlight six of the key developing reasons why they feel Avalon Global Care could generate unstoppable growth throughout the back half of 2022 and beyond. So as I said in the intro, I feel like this company is just now starting to gain some momentum and get the attention it deserves in the investment community. And this article here really lays out some strong points to support that thesis. So number one, Avalon just announced a new research study applying artificial intelligence or AI enhanced protein design to their QTY code technology. Now this is expected to accelerate the development of therapeutic monoclonal antibodies to treat cancer and really represents a massive catalyst for Avalon Global Care. The second point here, AVCO could be one of the most overlooked biotech stocks in 2022 with shares trading just above the 52 cent range. This is as of July 29th, but we're still in that mid 50 cent range as of the time of filming. So we're gonna look at some of the charts in a second here. The third point, Avalon has jointly filed for 16 patent applications and co-invented with key strategic partners, including a world leading university, which is MIT, and that relationship we just looked at. Now the fourth point is centered around the company headquarters, which I mentioned is a hotbed and breeding ground for successful biotech companies. And this area within New Jersey was responsible for a staggering 50 new FDA drug approved between the years of 2020 and 2021, which is absolutely unheard of when you look at the amount of time it takes to actually go through the FDA approval process. The fifth point, Avalon Insiders currently own 63% of the available shares, which could indicate a strong belief in the company's outlook. So I talk about this extensively on the channel, but I'd love to see strong insider ownership, especially with
with these small and micro cap companies because it really is a huge vote of confidence that the management team is putting their money where their mouth is. And the sixth and final point made is really in relation to the aggressive M&A or merger acquisition activity we've seen in the car T space and the amount of big dollars that are pouring into this sector from mega cap companies and large scale institutions. And again, that's really because this CAR T technology is the cutting edge or frontier of cancer treatment or cancer management. Now the article kicks off by talking about some big insider buys that we saw in the month of July. So really supporting the fifth point we just saw there. So you can see a massive spike in insider buying in July of this year. And again, at the time this article was put together or July 29th, the chart was indicating that the company was right for a potential technical breakout. So if we scroll down here and you look at the chart pattern, you can see this is the start of July here, talking about that potential breakout. And if we go back to our actual chart and we pull up a six month graph, here's the last week of July, so July 25th. And sure enough, we did see that big breakout to the upside where the company reached highs of 75 cents on August 4th. So essentially exactly what this article predicted actually happened to shares of AVCO. Now they then go on to talk about some technical analysis. So the 50 and 200 day moving averages. And if we jump back to our chart here and we bring up a full screen, you can see that shares of AVCO have just crossed the 50 day moving average, which again is a bullish indicator from a technical standpoint. So we're starting to see a very similar setup to what we saw in the back half of July. And again, at that point in time, shares jumped all the way up to 75 cents US. Now the article then goes on to talk about this T-cell technology. So I'm not gonna dwell on this a lot because we did go into it extensively in the last video, but essentially your immune system uses T-cells as frontline soldiers in the fight against common infections and everyday maladies. However, sometimes T-cells are not effective, especially when they're up against deadly conditions like blood cancer, more specifically leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And that's where the CAR T or chimeric antigen receptor T cell technology comes into play. So what they actually do in this CAR T therapy is extract your body's own T cells and then genetically modify them with a receptor that directly attacks specific types of cancers. The cells are then grown and multiplied in a lab before they're reintroduced into the patient's body. And that's why the production and the lab facility is so key to this business model. So you'll often hear CAR T therapy referred to as a living cure, and that's because it uses the body's own living cells to actually attack the cancer. Now, even in the earliest forms of treatment for blood cancer, this non-invasive treatment leads to lasting remission rates no less than 30 to 40% of all patients. So it's extremely effective, and that technology is continuing to advance and develop with Avalon Global Care's products actually seeing remission rates much higher than that standard average. And that really leads us into their revolutionary research and R&D platform. Now the core focus at Avalon is their third generation CAR T therapy. So you can see this has gone through multiple iterations that can potentially be useful in the treatment of cancer and other life-threatening diseases, along with their flash CAR technology and their stem cell derived exosome technology, which is the ACTX platform. And what's exciting about ACTX is it can be used to treat a wide variety of conditions from neurodegenerative disorders to immune health, orthopedic applications, wound management, and even weight management. So when you talk about addressable market or the future revenue opportunities for Avalon Global Care, the possibilities really are limitless here, you guys, and it's not just a cancer technology or focus that they're pursuing. Now, the article then goes on to talk about their upstream, midstream, and downstream components, which we already looked at, so we're not gonna spend more time on that, but I will note that their lead CAR-T candidate, which is the AVA-001, has already completed a pilot first in human trials in patients with B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia with a stated remission rate far higher than the industry standard, so far higher than that 30 to 40 percent remission rate that we just referenced and Avalon is currently in the process of expanding their patient recruitment and indication process now the QTY code is another breakthrough technology that's extremely exciting here so Avalon recently announced a new research study applying artificial intelligence to the QTY code technology so that was the first catalyst or bullet point listed above 
and the research demonstrates that this novel method or new method for quickly predicting the design of so-called water-loving or hydrolytic variant structures of the 14 glucose transport membrane proteins, which allows researchers to study the proteins more easily in water. Now, glucose transport membrane proteins are deregulated in many tumor types and are potentially important to target for cancer therapy. And what this technology or protein design platform allows Avalon to do is turn water-insoluble transmembrane receptor proteins into water-soluble proteins, which enables their use in many clinical applications, including drug development. So again, an extremely cutting-edge technology and a super exciting product or platform to keep an eye on if you're invested in Avalon Global Care or thinking about making a potential investment. Now, speaking of this technology, Avalon has been busy filing a number of patents to protect their IP or intellectual property. So they recently filed 16 joint patent applications and co-invented with key strategic partners, including that top five US university, which is MIT, and a leading education and research center in Europe. Now patents were filed in the US under the USPTO or the US Patent and Trademark Office, as well as the China National Intellectual Property Administration and under the Patent Cooperation Treaty, which covers 36 countries around the world. And we talked about this again in that prior coverage or prior video. So these new patents or new intellectual property covers three core patent families. So really referring to the engineering and biomanufacturing of these new CAR T cell related and mRNA based flash CAR T cellular therapy platforms, their soluble antibody like cytokine and chemokine decoy receptors, and that novel S-layer coated emulsion technology to guide the trafficking and delivery of the payload to the targeted destination in the body. So the delivery method of a lot of this technology. And these patents are crucially important because this is such a competitive space to really protect the work, the ideas and the research that Avalon has invested so heavily in. Now the final point I wanted to touch on is really in relation to this M&A or merger acquisition activity in the CAR T therapeutic space. And over the last few years, we've seen a huge increase in the amount of investor attention and blue chip or mega cap companies coming in and purchasing or acquiring these smaller companies. So in total, financing rounds by CAR T related companies are approaching a value of $4 billion, while CAR T industry partnerships now contribute more than 2 billion and some recent or notable M&A activity includes the purchase of Juno Therapeutics for $9 billion in 2018, Celgene for 74 billion in 2019, and the Estella's acquisition of Xiphos Biosciences and its CAR T technology for $665 million. So when you think about the market cap on Avalon sitting sub $100 million and you start to look at some of these buyouts, you guys, the upside is extremely lucrative and the potential is definitely there to make a lot of money. So in total, there's been nearly $100 billion of market capitalization from CAR T related companies within the last few years. And remember, insiders at Avalon own in excess of 63% of shares. So that leads a lot of people that are familiar with this space to agree that the company appears to look well positioned for future growth potential or the potential for an acquisition. So again, six key catalysts or reasons why biotech stock market news makes the case or feels that Avalon Global Care is currently extremely undervalued. And the final point I wanted to leave you guys with is just that press release that came out on October 19th, talking about Avalon Global Care presenting at the LD Micro Main event, which took place on October 26. And why this is important, this is a major industry event which took place between October 20. 25 and 27th. So it's a three day event in Los Angeles, California. And there were over 200 companies represented at this event, which was really geared towards investors interested in the biotech sector. So these type of presentations and events are key to develop corporate interest and shareholder value creation. And I think this type of activity is super important to get the word out about Avalon Global Care and their technology and portfolio of intellectual property. So for those reasons, you guys, this is one I'm really excited about. I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you currently holding shares of Avalon? 
What do you think about their technology and how do you think they stack up to some of the other biotech plays we've covered on the channel recently? If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. We just crossed the 13,000 subscriber milestone, which is phenomenal. And we'd really love to have you as part of the community. Now, with that being said, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.